Hey guys, how's it going? This is A League of Their Own, back with another video. Today, I'd like to pay tribute to legendary Tigers broadcaster, Ernie Harwell. I've got a nice collection of Ernie Harwell items to show, and we're going to get things started off with this autographed baseball. So this is a signed ball by Ernie Harwell. It comes with JSA authentication right there. Now with autographed baseballs, I prefer to get them signed in blue as opposed to black ballpoint pen. Uh, for me, I just find it, it stands out a little bit more. I think this is a, a great example here. The other criteria is I try to get baseballs that don't have a lot of toning with them. So although this one does have a few spots, I, I think it's pretty nice overall. So there's my first piece, the Ernie Harwell autographed baseball. So the next thing that I'm going to show you is this 2003 Topps Gallery card. So here it is right there. You can see that it's signed in blue at the top of the card. Signed in a little bit of a dark spot, although Ernie Harwell didn't really have uh, another place that was more appropriate to sign. So you can still see it um, pretty good there. So if we turn it over onto the back, and if I direct your attention to the last uh, sort of sentence of the gallery notes here, you'll see that it says, was traded to the Dodgers for a player in 1948. And you might be thinking, well, is, is that a typo tops? It's not, and it's actually an interesting story. So Ernie Harwell, he broke into the majors as a broadcaster with the Dodgers. In 1948, Harwell became the only announcer in baseball history to be traded for a player when Brooklyn Dodgers GM Branch Rickey traded catcher Cliff Dapper to Atlanta in exchange for Harwell's broadcasting services. Now, a year later, Ernie became an announcer with the Crosstown New York Giants. So to replace Harwell, the Dodgers hired a young announcer. Now, you may have heard of this guy. It turned out to be uh, Vin Scully. So I think it worked out pretty well for everyone, although I'm not sure how Cliff Dapper felt about it. So there's the uh, 2003 Topps Gallery card of Ernie Harwell. The next thing that I'd like to show you is a card that I actually won in an eBay auction not long after Christmas. This is the 2017 Topps Dynasty 1 of 1 Ernie Harwell. It's got some really nice reflection there. I really like Dynasty this year. I was impressed with 2017. I feel like 2014 is still my favorite Dynasty design, but I thought they did a good job with, with 2017. I really wanted to have this particular card. Ernie Harwell, him and baseball, Tigers baseball, it just goes together. He was the voice of the Tigers for 42 years. So to pick up his 2017 Topps Dynasty one of one was uh, pretty special. So nice looking card right there. So the next card that I'm going to show you is another signed Ernie Hartwell piece. This is a slabbed oversized index card with Ernie Harwell's signature written in blue. Now Ernie Harwell is not just synonymous with the Tigers. He's also a basically a national treasure as well. The American Sportscasters Association ranked Harwell 16th on its list of top 50 sportscasters of all time. That's a pretty prestigious list for, for anyone to be on. He was honored additionally by the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1981 as the fifth broadcaster to receive the Ford Frick Award. 
So a nice accolade for Harwell to achieve there. This is a really nice index card. The signature is, is very clean. Again, signed in blue. Can't, can't go wrong. So last but not least, I'm going to share with you my personal favorite Ernie Harwell item that I owned. And you'll see why in a sec. Being a Tigers fan, this is pretty nice to have. Again, it's a signed index card by Ernie Harwell. What I love about it is the inscription that Ernie put. So it says, thanks for your Tiger loyalty, Ernie Harwell. Really nice signature there. So although he didn't personally sign this, for me, it's as a Tigers collector, just a nice piece to own. As you know from the accolades that I read about Ernie, great broadcaster, superb at what he did. He's a treasure. Everyone really enjoyed listening to him. He was also a really kind man. As a person, people had a real, really a lot of nice things to say about him. So you just can't beat that. So this is my personal favorite item here. I hope you enjoy the Ernie Harwell collection that I have. Again, thanks everyone for watching. Thanks for caring. And we'll see you in the next one. Take care.